when people come together, stay together for some good time, they create among themselves some codes of conduct. They create some patterns of how their lives can be. And in most cases, if they have a challenge, they use the same codes to solve such a problem together, communally. Now, over time, these codes or this kind of way, a pattern that is developed by this group of people, takes over and creates meaning. That is how these kind of people understand the world around them. It relates to the way they sleep, the way they think, the way they dress, the way they eat, and everything about them, the way they raise their children. And this is the essence of culture. Now, because culture is rooted within the existence of these people, and the people are part of or creates the very cultures, and I've been saying all times that God operates within the people, then it means what people agree to come and agree together. Because I am not talking about somebody dictating with a gun or with any kind of force. We know that so many people in power have come up with very bizarre decisions and things that we're supposed to follow. But I'm saying, out of agreement, people agree to move their lives in a certain pattern. We are saying that since God resides in the people, and a lot of people come to understand that this is how we must pass our life, then I am saying that God is in all the approved cultures of people. We do not have to say that there is a difference, or there is somewhere where God stays, and then there is the culture, the other side. No. Culture is the entirety of people's lives, including their beliefs in God. Now, having that in mind, we need to understand and look at how we have come to hate who we are. Because I am this, because my parents were this, and because my great-great-parents are this. Now, it is also very important to know that over time, through the generations to posterity, we have come up with a lot of knowledges, if I can call them. Now this knowledge come uh, to pass due to time. Some can go, uh, can be, you know, can be, can be aged out. Some become irrelevant to all our existing problems. That does not change the culture. However, it ignites the changes within. It doesn't make things to, you know, to disappear all of a sudden. What is important is also to note that so many cultures become weak over time. And then the stronger ones, or those who grow stronger because of the, you know, the opportunities that come their way, can eat up the smaller ones, the weaker ones. Now taking all that into consideration, we need to understand that one, it is, it is us to sustain our cultures. It is us to work and sustain all what makes relevant to our lives the existence that we in the things that we come across and all that 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 makes us uh, as a people we must accept that at one point in time we must defend all what created us to this level i am this because my father gave birth to me so i have part my DNA is made up of my parents. My parents' DNA is made up of, and the kind of pattern comes from what these people survived with. For example, they ate a pattern of, of food. Now, right now, because of the so many challenges, I'm in conflict. The kind of food that I want to put in the DNA, which I inherited from my parents, who had the kind of different food they put in their DNA, who probably are also, or oh, by that time it also conflicted with the kind of food that their, who are my great, their parents, who are my great grandparents, 
to you know that kind of pattern is what we live in we live with all this time i need us to realize the fact that if we believe that we are an entity we believe that we exist for a reason we believe that our parents did something to create a foundation for us then we should uphold these cultures now the greatest worry that a lot of people have is that god is not in our cultures that is where we all go wrong now because you believe that you have your culture and god resides in your neighbor's culture then you have to mix yourself up with both cultures your culture and the neighbor's culture that is how things go wrong because your culture will pull you together we pull you all, all of you what you eat will dictate what you eat what you dress how you think what you study and this is what we see with what happened when we enveloped we took wholesomely these foreign religions i want to give you a message of hope that within our cultures within your real culture god is there you can speak to god in your language you don't need an arabic language you don't need a, a, a latin language you don't need an english language you don't need any other language you can use your language to talk to your god you don't need even to pass through some foreign messenger of god to reach your god you don't need any foreign messenger god uses people within our means of reach when i say means of reach i mean languages you know people who look like us people who grew up with us and sometimes because we are so used to them we kind of look at them as ordinary and people who cannot reach out or god can't reach out to send a message i am telling you today that if you look around clear around yourself you find that god is trying to send a message to you god is telling you to listen to your environment listen to your parents listen to your grandparents listen to your culture the answer is there there is a reason as to why you were born the way you are with those parents with that environment and you are not born wherever else you wish to have been born as you are struggling to kind of understand what was written in a foreign book when you know nothing about your culture your great grandparents and all places where so and so uh, that matter to you lived they know that you are in the wrong pattern and you are in conflict with what god thought you should be in fact you are like a rebel to god's will you are revolting you are you know emphatically saying god made a mistake it is today that you should rise up appreciate who you are appreciate your identity build towards understanding your entirety your people your culture in order to uphold the dignity that makes the god inside you proud